Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I've been thinking for a little bit. I, I've been too sidetracked to be able to do, usually I do the second video of the day first and then I'll do this one, but I've been way too sidetracked um, today. I feel like this is just kind of me speaking, uh, speaking my mind, so if I say anything that just whatever I say, take with a grain of salt if you need to. Um, but anyway, I feel like when I approach the real world, not like personal life, individuals like Pink Fox, Aaron, my family, not not no one like that. But when I approach the real world. It feels like recently that, in a way, I'm kind of alone in the way I think. Now, I don't remember whether I've described this or not yet, but in case I haven't, the way I personally think is more on the factor that I'm kind of like, in a way... I was going to use a specific example, but I don't even know if that's accurate, so I'm not going to do it. My line of thinking is more I look for, like, different pieces of circumstance. Um, and I start asking myself, what if? I've grown to notice that pretty much the entire world hates that. Like, for example, this channel... It's reached a number of subs that I thought it never would. First of all, thank you guys for that. Second of all, I got hiccups suddenly. Excuse me for that. But no. Second of all, um... Even though that's the case... I... Always ask myself, what if... I don't ever reach a point where I can provide for myself through this alone. There is a reason I have the day job other than I actually enjoy it. What if, what if this channel only gets to a certain point and kind of just goes neutral? Never exactly dies like some past channels have, like uh, Smike, for example. It was a great channel back when it was active, but eventually kind of just died. But... What if my channel ended up, you know, in the same predicament that could make it so it would die? In my mind, if I were to say that, what if that happens? What would I do? But it feels like there's a lot of people who I'd, I'd ask them that and they would freak out. They'd get angry. I've had a lot of people before who have legitimately gotten angry about this. No one in my personal life who's very close has. Um, they, I've been asked not to say stuff like that after saying it, and I drop it, but... Beside that, there have been people who... Like, people I've worked with in the past, who I have asked, what if blank happens? What, what, what do you think... Like, you know, I'd ask for, like, an opinion or for what, like, a response for, like, an outcome, a reactive outcome of the hypothetical scenario, and they just flip on me. They, I, I mean, I know a lot of people hate hypothetical scenarios like that, mainly because it always also implies change, because no one likes change, or no one. It might as well be no one likes change. That's not entirely true. There are quite a few people out there who don't mind it, including myself. I've dealt with change before, and I've gotten to the point where I'm like, eh. But there are a lot of people out there who despise change. And these individuals are the same individuals who I would approach them with that kind of hypothetical thought, and they blow a gasket. Um... I just don't understand why. I mean, why not just answer the question? Say, I don't know, but please drop it. Simple as that. 
yes, I thought through that hypothetical scenario before. My brain has gone to me before. Well, what if you approach someone who you're just trying to ask an opinion of a hyp- for a hypothetical scenario? What if they give you a negative response in return? What would you do? If I've asked myself that, and my response would be, end the conversation and leave. Because normally when I do this kind of thing, it's, I mean, when I bring hypotheticals to individuals of who are close to me, like Aaron, Pink Fox, my family, people like that, they're actually, they, they know me well enough to know that I do that. Aaron's very calm about it. Pink Fox usually asks me to just drop it because she gets, she, it makes her nervous sometimes. So she asks me, for the most part, she asks me to drop it. And I do. I'm respectful like that. My family? Well, I mean, like Aaron, they know me well enough to just answer sometimes. If it doesn't get answered, I know just to drop it anyway. But I digress. These aren't the individuals I'm referring to because of what I just laid out. The people I'm talking about are people who I don't fully know. People who... Well... Again, people who don't like change. Those are the individuals I'm talking about. Because they're the same individuals generally. Emphasis on that word. Because it's not all of them. But generally, these individuals are the kind of individuals who don't like to answer that question. I don't understand why. I never will. Because I don't mind answering hypothetical scenarios. In fact, my dad gave me one not too long ago about a place Pink Fox and I were moving when I discussed it with him. He laid out the scenario of, what if you get to that point and you can't afford it? What will you do? My brain will go, my, when he asked that, it was, I think it was the week before this recording where he asked, my response, because I don't mind these kind of questions, my response would go, well, we have considered that and we're doing precautions to make sure we are ready. And as of this recording, we technically are. Yeah. Um, I mean, by the time this is uploaded, for all we know, for all I know, we might have already been moved. I don't know yet. Because, again, this, this upload, like all my other uploads, are done way before, way ahead of time. As of this recording, this recording is actually two weeks ahead. Um, but I digress. What exactly, why, I I respond like that, so, and and I ask him, like, hypothetical questions all the time. Well, what if blank? Just say what you would do. For example, um, this is very, very um, dark, and I don't think it, keep this statement in mind, because I might be forgetting something. I don't think it can correlate to anything I know IRL. Um, And if it does correlate to anybody watching this, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt because, once again, it's a hypothetical scenario. It's not realistic. I emphasize this a lot because there are many people out there who don't understand this. Say, hypothetically, you got into a car crash. This happens a lot where I live. A lot. Not to people I know, thank heavens, but it does happen a lot. And say, in said car crash, your engine gets damaged, but somehow the car, the rest of the car survives and you survive. And I would ask an individual if I were to present this to, what would you do? Many times, if I were to do something like that, the individual I'd be talking to would just explode on me. As of now, I'm used to it, so if that happened, I'd keep a neutral tone, I'd try to drop it. I mean, I'd say, never mind. And I've done this many times, too. Again, most of the time, it's to those individuals who... Either work, it, it's not that scenario. Once again, that was just a random hypothetical scenario, the first thing that came to my mind. Um, 
it was either it was that it's I, it usually has been like workplace th- scenarios which usually are more gentle than not but there have been times or just people I come across just trying to ask an opinion to give an example kind of thing but it's rare it is stupidly rare where I find a circumstance like what Pink Fox, um, Aaron, my family, D9 even, because I know I've done this with him before. He's very understanding. He's willing to answer, by the way. I didn't give that example earlier, but he is. These scenarios, these are the, the individuals like these guys answer the question or ask it dropped, depending on the question. But others seem to don't just don't get it. Now, bear in mind, this is venting, yes, but it's because I don't understand why. It's a hypothetical scenario question to help push forward. How is that so hard to answer? That's something I don't understand. So maybe I'm venting about something that doesn't need venting. I guess just I need an answer. But... Or maybe it's something that, I don't know, some of you may have experienced. Realistically, I have no idea. This is one of those things where it's like hit or miss, whether it works or not. Maybe some of you will like this video and agree with me. Maybe some of you will like the video and understand that I just don't get it. Or maybe some of you will just dislike what I'm saying. If so, on that, if it's that third one, I apologize. That's not what this is meant to do. This is just me being confused, trying to wonder why people can't simply just answer a hypothetical scenario because it's hypothetical it is not literal it's not as if the scenario presented has already happened or it's happening it's a scenario of millions of potential future scenarios that could happen that's why i don't understand it if you guys are still watching this video and you get what i'm saying but you're kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum and you do understand uh, let me know in the comments below because I am legitimately curious. Um, if you're on the in the same boat as me, uh, you can let me know in the you can let us know in the comments as well. Um, but you know it's up to you. If you again, if you disliked what I have to say, I'm sorry. It's just I, I guess again, this is just something I don't understand. Anyway, but if you did like this video. Make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Want to check out any other discussion rants that I've done, or anybody else on this platform has done, because I think Pink Fox has done a couple of them too. Uh, click the link on the side of my head over here. Uh, you'll find a list of, I think, about 140 now. Honestly, I'm losing track. I should just stop saying a number and move on. But yeah. Click the link over here. You'll find a long list of them there. So if that's not quite what you're looking for, um, maybe the link on the other side will give you an idea of something you may enjoy more. But in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone. I hope to catch you guys all in another. See you guys later.